Holy crap, look. Is that who I think it is? It can't be. What would Summer Glow be doing riding the train? Uh, maybe John Connor's aboard and she's protecting him from an evil Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely. That's a television show, Leonard. Thank you. Of course, if Skynet actually did exist in the future, a perfect way to infiltrate and destroy mankind would be to send Terminators back, posing as actors who have played Terminators in popular films and television series, and lulling us into a false sense of security, i.e., that Summer Glau from the Sarah Connor Chronicles. You, no, Summer, don't kill me. I'm pro-robot. At least he's off the train crap. Whee! Sheldon, I owe you an apology. Taking the train was a stroke of brilliance. I've actually got a shot at a Terminator. Oh, please. When it comes to Terminators, you've got a better shot of scoring with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> You're overlooking something. I have 11 hours with her in a confined space. <laughs> if she's willing to jump off a moving train, tuck and roll down the side of a hill, she will eventually succumb to the acquired taste that is Howard Wallowitz. <laughs> My money's on tuck and roll. I'm confused. I thought you were involved in some sort of socially intimate pairing with Leslie Winkle. <laughs> Sheldon, let me explain to you how this works. All right. That's Summer Glau. Yes. That's it. <laughs> well, hang on a sec. Why do you get first crack at her? Uh, well, let's see. A couple reasons. One, I saw her first. No, you didn't. I did. Fair enough. But then let me move on to number two. Unlike you, I can actually talk to women when I'm sober. You fail to take into account that even mute, I am foreign and exotic, while you, on the other hand, are frail and pasty. Well, you know the old saying, pasty and frail never fail. Excuse me, but what about me? Why don't I get a shot? Fine, go ahead, take a shot. You know, I've already got a gorgeous blonde back home that I can't score with. I think I'll let you two take this one. Shadow, is there a place in this train to get alcohol? Interesting that you ask. The Coast Starlight recently added the refurbished Pacific Parlor car, built in 1956 and originally known as the Santa Fe Lounge Car. The lower level is... Yeah, 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 yeah. which way? The upper level is a bar that offers wine tastings if you're going as far as Portland. So aren't you going to go talk to her? I will. I'm just... Working on my opening line. She's probably heard every possible line, Howard. Why don't you just try hello? No, oh, no, that always creeps girls out. <laughs> you need to come up with something that's funny, smart, and delicately suggests that my sexual endowment is disproportionate to my physical stature. You're gonna need more than 11 hours. It's hot in here. Must be summer. Headed. It's hot in here. Must be summer. 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 That's cute. Really? I just made it up. Have you seen Slumdog Millionaire? Oh, yeah, I loved it. It's loosely based on my life. And that bright little star peeking her head out early today, that's Venus. That is so cool. You really know a lot about space. Come on. When you were on TV in Firefly, you were actually in space. <laughs> You're not one of those guys who really believe that, are you? You mean one of the hopeless geeks? No. Those are crazy people. <laughs> Howard, be a deer and get me another one of these. Now him, he's one of those geeks. 